Hi guys, this is Mr. Max. Um, I'm doing a question that was in paper 2, grade 11, end of year examination of 2020. It was question 16 that dealt with constructions. So it is a six mark question. So you will see that I'm trying my best here to use the software to explain this question. And for the rest of the paper, you will have to look at the video that I'm going to upload later. All right. So let me just take away this wording here. They are kind of my, in my way. All right. So I, I suggest that perhaps you get hold of this question paper from your teachers and so on. So what we do here is they say we're supposed to use a straight edge, which is like a ruler and compasses only. These are the only things that you're allowed to use for this whole question. You may not use for part A, you may not use anything else like a, a protractor or, you know, anything that they don't mention. So it should be a ruler and a compass, obviously with a pencil. So we are going to draw the points or the locus of points inside this plan here. There are Roman 1, 6 cm from B, that is worth one mark. Roman 2, equal distance from point A and B, that means we have to find a line, the perpendicular bisector, a line that cuts A and B in half. And the third one that they say we must use or we must draw is we are supposed to find the points that are the same distance from BC and CD. That simply means we have to bisect angle C here. All right, we have to find the angle bisector. So let's start off with the first one. We are going to construct a locus of points inside this plan that are six centimeters from B. Now, this is just for demonstrative purposes, so I'm bringing up my compass here. So what I suggest that you do is you have your compass, then you open a radius of six centimeters here. So what you do is you simply grab your ruler, and with your ruler, you measure your six centimeters, for example. You measure your six centimeters, and then you're gonna use that. All right, but since this is a scale version, I am just going to use my own measurement here so that it can fit and look more or less like how this particular question was supposed to be. All right, so I'm going to go all the way up to 12. I'm just going to double that. All right, so at B, so we are going to draw, but not a complete circle. Remember, we just want the locus of points that are 6 centimeters. So I'm going to then draw an arc here, 6 centimeters like so. So every point that I just constructed is six centimeters away from point B, all right, inside. Therefore, you don't have to continue. All right, so that's worth one mark doing that. So let me just change the color of my pen, right, because I'm going to come to the second part. The second part wants me to find the locus of points that are equal distance from A and B. So you bring your compass back here. Now, what you do with the compass, because now you don't set it at the same radius, but slightly open it to a radius that is slightly bigger than this that you have, because we are looking for a point where we can sort of, where they can meet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not draw a whole circle, but I'm going to draw a small part like so. And then I'm going to go all the way and do it like so as well. And I'm going to use that same radius that I use, and I'm going to put it at point A, the same radius. And I'm going to then see where they intersect. So you see, I already see that I have a problem here, but I'll come back to that part. So where they intersect, so this is where I will start making that. So the problem is under, so I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to construct it so long and I'm going to put it back at point B and I want them to intersect. That is why you open a radius that is slightly uh, longer than half the distance of A and B. Just look with your eye. Right, so now we have the two points here. So now we're going to use our ruler. And when you use our ruler, we are going to sort of um, draw the points where they meet. So I'm just going to extend my ruler here. All right. So we're going to draw a line. I think we can use that. So you then use your line and you must go all the way until you're outside. Okay. Because we are really interested in, uh, in the points that are 
inside our plan. Okay, so doing this is worth uh, two marks. So that is Roman 2 that we have solved like that. Now, Roman 3 say, remember, it's only compass and a straight edge. We are supposed to find the locus of points inside the plan that are equal distance from BC and CD. You see two letters, BC and CD. What they have in common is point C. That means we are supposed to find the angle bisector of C. And the way we do it is um, we bring in our compass again and play. So what I will do is I will just change my radius, perhaps, just so that um, I can have, you see, I'll put it at point C. So just bear with me. So when you have your instruments, I believe that you will do this much faster than me. So this is just for demonstrative purposes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to change the color of my pen. Maybe this time I'm going to use green. All right, so I'm going to open a radius here. Now it doesn't matter how that radius is. So perhaps I should make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to draw myself a small arc, all right, around point C. So that means an arc like so. Can you see that? Right? So now you can use the same radius. So I put it here on this point, and I'll put it in this point. Okay, so if I put it in this point here, I might use the same radius, but what I'm realizing is if I'm using the same radius, okay, now I've done that, so I'm just going to maybe increase to my own, all right? You can increase it until it's outside, so that once we do, once they intersect, because I'll put my compass at this particular point and also at this point that I'm pointing. So let me just open it slightly bigger, and I'm going to draw then that particular one here and I'm putting my compass back to this point here and I am then going to maybe I should just switch it around for a while but remember it should be the same radius once you have done that so I put it here and uh, where the greens will intersect where the greens will intersect right where the greens intersect so if I draw a line here all the way where the green intersect with this particular point here that is going to be where this angle will be cut in half. So I'm going to use my ruler again. I'm going to make it extend it a bit. So I'm putting it at point C. Let me just extend my ruler because remember, we're really interested in um, all the way what is on the plan or inside the plan. So what we do is at point C as well as point the point where the two arcs are intersecting and also remember you may not um, erase your arcs so I'm going to draw myself a line and once I draw that line that is how Roman 3 is done okay so doing that is five marks I hope you still remember the steps nice thing is you can always pause the video go back and have a look so this is what you need to do please remember don't take this this construction don't erase the construction arcs okay try to use a soft pencil so that it's easy to erase once you make a mistake but you should leave your constructions as is now this brings me to the b part of the question and this part of shading is normally a part that um, affects the learners now let me just remove my compass and my ruler i'm not going to use them for this particular question it says shivolo plans to plant flowers in the garden so this is a garden here the flowers should be planted closer to B than to A. So this red line, the perpendicular bisector, indicates that the flowers, they should be on this side, okay? Not on the other side. So that's one, but it's not done. The flower should also be closer to CD, that means on this line, than it is to BC. So when you have it like this, I always say, look at what is it touching closer to CD. So it has to touch or it has to be on this part. So which line indicates now? It's the line that cuts this, this bisector, the angle bisector. So the flowers are going to be anywhere now here in this particular region, but we're not done. Now it says less than six centimeters from B. Now remember that's B, all this up to the black that you see, that is six centimeters. But less than six centimeters, it means it's this particular region that we are interested in. 
Okay, so let me just then bring in a highlight of some sort, then so you can realize that the part that we are talking about is here. And this is the part where the flowers would be, and this is what you shaped. And this is just one mark, so don't waste time in the exams, right? Majority of the marks are coming from the other part. So that is how that particular question is done, and you get one mark for doing that. So these are points that indicate to you step by step what you need to consider before you start shading. So remember the rest of the question paper, all the questions, paper 2 of 2020 for grade 11 ordinary level is on my YouTube channel, and you can use it to do a revision to prepare for your upcoming examination. All right.